yikes. Yikes, you know, I mean, right. Drinking happens at uh, those concerts like that, but my word, reel it in. Oh my gosh, bit. and you better drink water, lots and lots yeah, of water. It point. not only dilutes the alcohol, but it keeps you hydrated. Absolutely. And that's something alcohol doesn't do. So No, it does you, not. Yeah. Anyway. We had plenty of rain today. We were hydrated most we're of the very day. Hydrated yes, I know, over we here really on the were. Coast. <laughs> I have to say, the, and the showers started early this morning. We saw lots of lightning also. So these thunderstorms that came on shore really did produce in spots some very heavy rains. And because of all the cloud cover, we only got up to a high of 87 degrees today. 75 was the overnight low. Normally we're at 90 and 75. And obviously, as I pointed out earlier, in 1984 there must have been a lot of sunshine because it was 98 degrees on this date back then. Right now, we're looking at 79 degrees, and most of the rains have pretty much diminished at this point. 76 at dew point, 90 degrees right now, or 90% humidity, and we're looking at those winds fairly calm, but they're coming in out of the east-southeast, and we've got plenty of moisture around. So these are some of the rainfall amounts that we've seen in the past 24-hour period, and you can see what I'm talking about. We have pockets of heavy rain, one to two to almost three inches of rainfall, and that was taking place down here well to the south over Sarasota County, and then as you can see, you move eastward, and we're still looking at some very heavy pockets of rainfall and otherwise we saw lesser amounts of rain but just about everybody got some kind of a soaking at some point throughout the day and now we're left with partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies we have other showers that are out here in the Gulf of Mexico but they're kind of on the way out but later on throughout the overnight time period we'll see more showers developing moving on shore tomorrow morning and then throughout the morning hours all the way until two o'clock in the afternoon we can expect about a 60 percent chance of rain that will be in our forecast. So that's what's going to be taking place. If you have plans for tomorrow, put them off until the latter part of the day because a little bit better chances that you won't have to do, do, go to plan B. If you, if you do have outdoor plans. As you can see, for the overnight time period, we're not looking at a whole lot of rainfall, but beginning at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, we're now upping those chances to a 30% chance, and by 9 o'clock, we're up to a 60% chance of rain and thunderstorms, those isolated thunderstorms coming on in. So you can see already on our maps here, we're going to be seeing those showers coming on in from the Gulf, moving their way eastward, just as they did today. We'll see the same setup for tomorrow with a 60% chance in our forecast. So as far as the tropics are concerned, they're nice and quiet. We're not expecting any development for the next 48 hour period. That's always a happy thing to tell you. And we're also looking at boaters seeing winds coming in out of the south at 10 knots, seas one to two feet with a light chop out on the bay. Temperatures will be in the 80s, once again, high 80s. There is always the opportunity for getting a sunburn around here, so make sure that you do cover up. And we are looking at those scattered storms throughout the day up until about 2 o'clock tomorrow. Partly cloudy skies, otherwise 76 degrees for the overnight lows. And then those isolated thunderstorms with a 60% chance of morning to afternoon showers. And then during the evening hours, we're only calling for a 90%. 20% uh, chance of rain with a high of 90. So this is what we look like for the rest of the work week forecast. We're looking at a 40 to 50% chance of rain. The best chances actually are going to be tomorrow morning. Adam?